Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to program your Renogy Rover 30 amp solar charge controller to a lithium iron phosphate battery. Alright so you're new to solar and you just got your Renogy Rover 30 amp solar charge controller. You've got it connected to your battery but you're not sure that the settings are correct. You do see that there is a lithium setting but is that the settings that you really want? Well, there's also a section for manually entering the voltages that you want into your charge controller. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Since we are connecting this solar charge controller to a lithium iron phosphate battery, you do wanna consult the manual of your battery to see if it tells you what your voltages should be when it comes to uh, boost, uh, booster charging and float uh, and, and then like low voltage disconnects and low voltage warnings. We're going to be using this time USB so I'm going to be looking at this manual right here. But first what we're going to do is we're going to get into the program settings of this Rover solar charge controller. What you do is you hold down the right button until it starts flashing. At the bottom it will tell you what it's set at right now and mine is actually set on lithium. But what we're going to do is we're going to cycle through by using the up arrow. And right there, that is use. For, that's the one we're going to want to use. There's also one called flood. There's one called SLA for sealed lead acid. There's one called gel for gel batteries. And then we're back to our LI setting, which is lithium. But we're going to use the user setting. So let's go ahead and hit the right button. And now we see over here the voltage of the battery bank that we're going to be working with. It is a 12 volt battery, so we're going to keep it there. All right, and the first thing is the equalization. For lithium iron phosphate, you don't need to do anything with equalization. That's for lead acid batteries. So we're going to go ahead and keep that at 13.8, which is the same voltage as the float setting. And now we are on the boost setting. It is set at 14.4, and that's where you want to refer to your manual, but most lithium iron phosphate batteries will charge up to 14.4, give or take 0.2 volts. So you could either go 14.2 or as high as 14.6 on the boost setting. And what the boost setting does is it will charge the battery all the way up to this voltage. And then once it gets to this voltage, it switches over to the float setting. The float setting is what your voltage is for your battery once it's been fully charged and then is just sitting doing nothing. So the best way to find this voltage on your own is to charge your lithium iron phosphate battery all the way up so it's full with a regular charger and then disconnect it and let it sit for like an hour and then take a voltage measurement on it, and that will be your float setting for your solar charge controller. 13.8 is a pretty good number. 13.6 is also a very good number, uh, but I wanna say 13.8 is typical for what a solar charge controller should be at float settings. We're gonna go ahead and hit the right button again. This right here is your low voltage um, warning. So, you want to set that whatever your uh, product manual says for the time USB lithium iron phosphate battery it is 11.6 and then we're gonna hit next and this is the battery disconnect so you don't want this ever to happen that is the lowest your battery can go before the BMS inside the battery shuts the battery off to protect the cells and then when you hit next it goes back to the use function. So you've cycled through all the menus. And so we'll go ahead and hit, hold down the right button and it saves all the information and goes back to your start screen. Okay, well, I hope that helps you out in the beginnings of your solar charge controller journeys. It's very exciting to actually get uh, a solar system set up and running, uh, but programming stuff can be a little intimidating just because you spent so much money you don't want to burn something up. So I hope this video helped. Um, I'll have a link to uh, these items in my description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.